<clears throat> Here it is, the SNES Classic. It's the tiny little successor to the NES Classic, and it's coming on September 29th for $79.99. It can play 21 different Super Nintendo games, but the big one to be excited about is Star Fox 2. That game was never actually released. Nintendo canceled it way back when because it was worried that the graphics couldn't compete with the original PlayStation. Now you have to unlock it, and to do that, you play the original Star Fox game a little bit, and then you get access to the sequel. And yeah, I mean, Nintendo was probably right to hold back on releasing that game. But it's still a blast to play, and honestly, it's actually harder than you might expect. Now, for the hardware, it's good. It has just an HDMI and a power jack on the back, and there are two controller ports on the front. Nintendo has put them under this fiddly little flap so that it can look way more like the original SNES when you're carrying it around. And it uses these weird custom plugs, but they mean you can plug these new controllers into the NES Classic if you want, or into your old Wii remote and use them there on that virtual console. And the controllers, they feel great. There's really no mushiness in the buttons, and I'm really happy with the D-pad, which on modern controllers usually feels kind of like an afterthought. Plus, the SNES Classic ships with two controllers, and thankfully, the cable is long enough so you don't have to sit three feet right directly in front of your TV. And there are new features in the software, too. The most important one is called Rewind. When you suspend a game, you can jump right back in, or with Rewind, you can watch a replay of the last minute or so of your game. And if you screwed up, you can just start over at a few different points before you suspended the game. It's basically like a do-over that's built right into the console. A couple other things, you can set a screensaver that shows you know random gameplay of the games that are on this console, but it shows your own gameplay instead of just generic B-roll. And lastly, you can also set the screen to get a few custom settings so it looks like an old you know, CRT monitor, just like the NES Classic. But now you can put custom art in the black areas on the left and right of that four by three aspect ratio. So you can put fake speakers on there or my personal favorite, wood paneling. Unfortunately, Nintendo did not tell us exactly when pre-orders are gonna start for really real, but that should be pretty soon. And Nintendo has promised that it's gonna make way more of these than it did with the original NES Classic. So hopefully you'll be able to get your mouth, I mean, I mean hands on one. Four, it has a bunch of new modes. 